uh, control. We control left, we control right. So I'm going to pick your brain. You know you said she's second day. No, that's right. I'm Tony Cabello. I've been with Reyes Boxing. We've been around for, opened up since um, 2007. Uh, January 9th was our anniversary. Uh, I'm the owner. Me and Vincent Reyes are uh, co-owners in it, and it's 50-50. Uh, I'm the head amateur coach here, and I coach some pros, and I stepped into MMA uh, here recently. So my amateur team is good. We're 20 strong. Uh, we got some of the top pros out of here. Tony Lopez, uh, Robert Marquin, Jose Hernandez, uh, Jose Rodriguez. Uh, MMA wise, you know, uh, Mark De La Rosa now, he's stepping on the scene. Uh, brutal Johnny Bedford now, that's my main guy. Um, Evan Cutts now just stepped into the camp. So uh, the MMA side's rolling and I, like I said, I've been around boxing my whole entire life. I've been around some of the best guys, uh, Paul Reyes, like a mentor, Vincent Reyes, another mentor. Soaking up everything I can from them, they're like a sponge to me, you know what I mean? Uh, Johnny came to me before about some fights and uh, I worked them a little bit and then uh, Johnny left off and did the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, he came back to me. I, I had a rough 2012. He had a rough 2012. Uh, came back and said, hey, coach, I want you to work with me again. We started camp five weeks out prior before his last uh, fight. Uh, like I said, I watched film on the guy. We moved forward on that. Uh, presented a product, and you saw it on live TV. Uh, Johnny did his thing. Uh, right behind that, um, Evan Cuts came to me. Uh, you know, the same thing. Hey, I'd like for you to clean up my boxing game. A, a lot of MMA guys, they're coming for the, the boxing. I mean, every world champion in MMA has got a boxing background. I just got a boxing coach. Uh, that's hands down. That's a given. Evan Cuts came to me. Great, you know, great guy working with him, moving forward with Evan, uh, cleaning him up. You know, he's came through a couple of sessions, but at the end of the day, he's going to be a great fighter. This is uh, Evan Cuts here hanging out with uh, UFFL MMA. And today we're at uh, Reyes Boxing, man. I'm hanging around Tony Cabello. You've seen what he's done for. Uh, Johnny Bedford, you saw Johnny's last fight, and I'm going to tell you guys, that was all planned, all very planned. Johnny circled to the right, measure, measure, drop the right hand, and you hear that measure, measure, drop, man. Tony says it all the time. He has a system. He's not just throwing hands. It's more mint work than just, oh, give me a lot of punches. Give me a lot of punches. We'll get tired here. No, man, it's all very much a system. Um, I met out today here with uh, Mark Del Rosa. We uh, got some good, good boxing in today. Not only mitt work, but also some partner drills. And uh, the thing that impressed me most about Tony, like uh, he was saying earlier, man, his expanse in the MMA and being smart about things like the takedown. Um, the first session we had, we were talking about situations where to throw some elbows. Uh, we were talking about setting up kicks, using the takedown to set up punches already. And, I mean, you have a lot of old school boxing guys trying to make the transition that are unwilling to really make the transition in their hearts to MMA, and I think Tony's so open to that. So, like I said, I'm a student of the game. I'm never going to sit there and say I mastered anything, uh, but I will tell you that I will not stop learning. And any coaches that I go around or anything I pick up, you know, I, I just got off the phone early. Uh, Yesterday morning with uh, Trevor Whitman out in Denver, Colorado. I'm heading out that way in a couple months. Uh, Trevor's a great guy. So that's what I'm going to learn. After Trevor, I'm going to go on to another coach out in Virginia. So uh, I'm getting into the MMA scene. Like I said, I'm getting pretty heavy into it. Uh, my whole deal with the guys is uh, the game plan and what we're coming together. I teach them a system that I have, and I, I stand by my system. It works uh, to counter and not get hit, to set up shots, uh, and also everything with foot placement. Uh, your hands get all the credit, but your feet do all the work. So we work a lot of angles. Uh, I believe there's a formula to everything. Anything being built, whether you're going to build a box or train somebody how to fight, there's a way of going about building a box. There's a way about training a fighter to produce that product. And I'm about producing products. I'm putting them on the main stage, and, and then everybody's saying, wow, where did this guy come from? What is he doing? So I stand behind my system of coaching. Uh, like I said, slick counter punching, staying behind the jab, and using nice angles and countering, and not overshooting and not smothering yourself. Finding your range at all times. Truth be told, I'm in the gym with one of my mentors, which is Vincent Reyes, and he's one of the most uh, underrated boxing coaches there is, uh, just because Vincent preaches fundamentals and slick counterpunching, and that's where I come. I'm a student of Vince. I give him all the credit, and uh, like I said, he's done. He taught a lot. You know, he's, he's brought me a long way. So I actually get to work with my uh, mentor that I look up to. Follow my guys. You know, follow Evan Cuts, Mark De La Rosa, Johnny Bedford. Uh, great camp. Uh, you know. Uh, Follow me now on Twitter, you know, the Facebook, contact me. Um, nothing, nothing else I can really say. I think Fort Worth, I think we're making some noise in Texas and the MMA side in boxing. Uh, 
Shouts out to Robert Marquin, Jose Rodriguez, Tony Lopez, Vincent Reyes, Paul Reyes, Richard Bess. Uh, that's it, man. Reyes Boxing. Hi, my name is Dustin Snow. I'm at Genesis Jiu Jitsu, and I'm stopping in to get a massage by Jerry Brown, one of the best licensed massage therapists in the city. And he helps me out before all my big fights, so I'm going to go in and talk to Jerry. How you doing, Jerry? Good, Dustin. How are you, sir? Doing real well. Uh, well, i got a fight coming up here pretty soon. I've been training real hard, and my back is really tight, and I'm having a lot of pain up and through my shoulders. Take care of that for you. Great. All right. Okay. It just dissolves away. Every time I come to Jerry Brown LMT, he gets me loose and ready to fight. I feel awesome. I can't wait to make it to my next tournament. 